from 42 Visionary Way. You're tuned in to the winner of 3120 Show of the Year, Dispatch Hope, starring your hosts, Silo and Nova. Thanks for tuning in to Dispatch Hope. Here on the show, we take some of our viewers' most hopeless situations and we send out hope to their future memory banks. But this is no ordinary talk show. We're using some of the year's most advanced technology so that viewers can not only hear about hope, but see into their bright and exciting futures. We've been dishing out hope on the air for the last 10 years. And in that time, we've been able to help over 7,000 people become pros in flashing forward. It's always so exciting when we get to help someone believe that God will do good things as they pray, remember, and obey. Pro, during each episode of the show, we have different segments, and one of those is called Five Second Rule. You heard that right. We're flashing back to one of the most popular games from the 2000s. This is a game that anyone can play, and it's super fun. We'll put a category up on the screen, and you'll see how many things in that category you can name in five seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready, set, go! Ready, set, go! Did anyone say Easter? Because that one's my favorite. Hey, that's my favorite too. There are so many exciting things happening around here at Hope Headquarters, but the most exciting is when we get to help someone believe that God will do good things. Oh, hey, it looks like we got a call coming to us via hover mail. I can't wait to help someone else become a pro. Let's check it out. Hey, Dispatch Hope, my name is Ray, and I've been watching your show for years. I'm really struggling with something right now, so I'm turning to you guys to help me find some hope here. A couple of days ago, I was scrolling through my Pronto Vision feed, and I came across a post where all my friends were hanging out together, which would be okay, except no one invited me, and I felt super left out. The more I thought about it, the more I started to think that my friends must not love me. Later that same night, I overheard my parents talking about something, and it sounded like they were talking about me. I couldn't hear exactly what they were saying, but it made me think that my family doesn't want me around either. I feel so alone and so sad all the time. And it feels like everything just keeps getting worse and worse. I don't know what to do. If you guys can't help me, I guess no one can. Wow, it sounds like this viewer's hope is running really low. We're gonna need a good bit of P-R-O. In case this is your first time tuning in, I want to make sure you know what we're talking about here. PRO is our futuristic formula that has proven to fill us and many others with hope. But before we go pro, we always take the time to flash back to God's word. Even though the technology is very advanced these days, there's one tool that remains timeless, and that's the Bible. A long time ago, they used to read the Bible on this stuff called paper. That made up what our ancestors called books. But these days, we have a way of flashing back in time and watching the Bible come to life in a brand new way. Here on the show, we're testing out the latest patching technology for the very first time. We're not quite sure if this will work, but we're going to see if we can show you what we're seeing. Okay, I'm getting word from our producers that the audience has been patched in. Yes, it's working. Accessing the story of Lazarus. Story successfully loaded. Lazarus and his two sisters, Mary and Martha, lived in a town called Bethany, and they were friends with Jesus. One day, Lazarus got very sick. His sisters had hope that Jesus could heal their brother, so they sent him a message, letting him know how sick Lazarus was. Jesus loved Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, but he was doing some very important work in another town and decided to stay there for two more days. This was not what the sisters wanted, but Jesus knew something they didn't know. Jesus knew how the story was going to end. While Mary and Martha were waiting for Jesus to come, Lazarus died. It seemed like all hope was lost. Flash forward. Several days later, Jesus finally arrived in Bethany. 
By this time, Lazarus had been dead four days, and Mary and Martha were so sad. When Martha heard that Jesus had made it into town, she went to meet him. She said to Jesus, If you had only been here, my brother wouldn't have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Although Martha was feeling sadder than she had ever felt before, she had hope because she remembered that Jesus was God's son and he could do anything. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise and live again. Anyone who believes in me will live, even if they die. Martha believed what Jesus said and went to get her sister. When Mary heard that Jesus was there, she came running out to him and fell at his feet. Mary was crying and told Jesus that if he'd been there, Lazarus would still be alive. When Jesus saw her crying, he cried too and asked where Lazarus was buried. So they took him to Lazarus' tomb. It was a cave that had a stone in front of it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. But Martha said, Lord, it has been four days since he died. There will be a bad smell. That's when Jesus helped Martha remember what he had said, that anyone who believes, including her, will get to see how amazing God is. So the people obeyed and rolled the stone away. Then Jesus prayed. He thanked God for listening to him and told God that he wanted everyone there to believe in him. When Jesus was done praying, he told Lazarus to come out. Just then, Lazarus came out of the cave fully alive. And after seeing that, many people believed in Jesus for the first time. There may be times in our lives when it seems like all hope is lost, and we just want to give up or let our sadness take over. But what we can learn from the story of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus is that God will do good things. He always knows how the story ends. And if we believe in His Son, Jesus, all of our stories end with a perfect place called heaven, where we'll get to live forever and see how amazing God is. God might not always do what we want Him to do when we want Him to do it, but He is always working things out for the good of those who love Him. And while we are waiting for all the good that God has for us, we will not lose hope if we pray, remember, and obey. It never gets old watching the Bible come to life like that. Flashing back to God's Word helps us to become pros at hope. Now, it's time for us to take Ray's situation and run it through our prototype, or as we like to call it, pro. P-R-O stands for pray, remember, obey. Jesus knew people would feel hopeless, but He also knew that we would not lose hope if we believed in Him and went pro. Let's show Ray and our audience how Jesus taught us to go pro. Computer, access a prototype for hope. As you can see, the formula that Jesus taught us to follow was this, pray, remember, obey. Jesus prayed when He was at Lazarus' tomb, and when He did, He thanked God for always hearing Him. God always hears us when we pray too, and when we talk to God, He will give us hope that He will do good things. Absolutely. It wasn't easy for Lazarus' friends and family to believe that anything good was going to happen in this situation. But Martha remembered that Jesus was God's Son and that He could do anything. Remembering that truth gave Martha hope that good things were coming either here on earth or in heaven. And even though it didn't make sense when Jesus told them to remove the stone in front of Lazarus' tomb, I'm glad the people obeyed. Because when they did, they got to see God do something awesome. Doing these three things will make anyone a pro at hope. And Lazarus' story taught us that when all hope seems lost, we don't have to lose hope because our God will do good things. So let's all say this together now. Everybody say this after me. I will. I will. Not lose hope. Not lose hope. Great job. Jesus knew that we will have some hard times in this life. And it may seem like things are never going to get better. But because God loves us and He has good plans for those who believe in Him, we can flash forward to the awesome life He has promised us in heaven. Whenever we do that, we will not lose hope. This is my new favorite latest and greatest technology breakthrough called the Future Memory Bank. This is where we can send our memories to the future for the next time we need hope. When we apply the PRO formula to what Ray sent us and upload it to her future memories, we'll get to flash forward and hear what her life could look like 10 years in the future. Computer Access Future Memory Bank. Hey there, Future Ray here, coming to you from the Future Memory Bank. Thank you both so much for telling me the story of Lazarus. 
After hearing about how it seemed like all hope was lost, and then God brought him back from the dead, I realized that there is always hope for the future. I decided to really get serious about following Jesus. Instead of letting sadness and lies take over, I started praying and reading my Bible so that I can remember exactly who God is and what He says about me. He loves me and has good plans for me, and because of that, I always have something to hope for. Because you guys taught me that I can pray and ask God for help, remember His promises, and obey His words, things are really looking good here in 3130. Thanks again, and keep helping others go pro. Flashing back to you guys, Future Ray, out. Wow. I can't wait for our viewer to see their life 10 years from now. God is going to do good things in their future, all because of pro. Praying, remembering, and obeying will help them to have hope. God gives us all hope, and when we put any circumstance through the proven PRO formula, we'll find ourselves being sure that God will do good things. Now, another thing we can do to fill ourselves with hope is to remember the promises of God by singing a worship song. When we sing worship songs, we're not just saying words to music. We're actually helping ourselves remember that God's promises are for us every day. In this next song, we're going to be singing all about how God has our future under control, and that gives us hope. Let's sing. I can be patient in times of trouble. I will wait. My hope is in you, God. I can obey. Remember what you say I will pray My hope is in you A future I can see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do A future I can see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do I'm happy I'm happy song. It's such a great way to remember that we may not see it yet, but God is working, and that gives us hope. Well, it looks like we're out of time on our show for today. If today's the first time you've tuned in, we always end our show by praying to God. Everyone, bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's all talk to God together right now. Dear God, thank you for giving us hope. We are sure that you will do good things for us because you love us. In every situation we face, Help us pray, remember, and obey. We love you so much. Amen. And with that, we're signing off. Thanks for tuning in.